Right, we're gonna. Uh, I've done a video taking this. What is a uh, shark? NV six o two UK power nozzle. We've done a video taking it apart, and now we're gonna reassemble. I just want to uh, try and get this sort of cleaned up. I will show you how I do it for cleaning these easy. I get what I can, I cut along there, cut all the hairs. concentrate more on the putting back together and just fast forward a minute but while I'm doing this I'll show you and what I've got it's just one of these cheap little uh, wire brushes and these just uh, yeah clean these up nice and do to clean them up and now it's like that, ready to go. Nothing wrong with that. Right. If you did watch the taking apart of this one, uh, you would have seen that when removing this light that we did break well, I did. I did, not we, I I did break one of these blue clips off but it shouldn't it shouldn't matter. Doing this, just a quick, just a quick wipe. All I use is a wet wipe. You know, nothing special. Doesn't need nothing special. Just a wet wipe and a bit of elbow grease. And I wasn't actually going to put this on the video, but. Gonna do this before the video, but as I'm, as I'm showing, because you can always skip. You don't need to watch this bit. There we go. That's better. It may not be perfect, but it's better than what it was. Right, time to rebuild. There we go. So that just goes into that hole. So it lines up there, so the belt goes through that gap. Hmm. I'm not sure if you've seen what I've done then. There we go. So you've got the big and then you've got the gap there, so the belt goes through. So that's it lined up and that's it in there that just goes into its uh, round housing. And it's uh, secured in to the T10 torch screws. There's a hole. You need them with a hole in the end because they've got a little poke up bits in the middle. So you've got to have the hole in the end bit. Yeah. Right, now on this motor. If you've seen the other video I did show. That we put the screws in and leave them in because sometimes other models you can have a hole there, a hole there, and you're not quite 100% sure which way it goes. This one's self explanatory because it can only go one way, but we know the grey wire is top, so yeah, that's 
that's right. And then these two is just it's either a posi or a Phillips one screwdriver. That's all it is. Nothing fancy. But yeah. Now, we won't screw it all the way. What we want to do is uh, give it a bit of movement so we can put this belt on. There's a bit of movement, that does make it slightly easier. I did say slightly easier, not easy. <laughs> but yeah. It's just it's stopping from me being in quite straight, but once we do it up, it should. Everything should line up properly. I'm not going to do them real tight, I'm just going to do them a bit at a time so it sort of goes up more evenly. Just had a delivery, so I'll get that right. But anyway, that's this grey one in line. We're all nice and uh, parallel. Good, good. Now it's time for the Sure, the clips go in place there. In this light switch, which is where I broke that clip, but we should be alright. If you get yours better off without breaking it, well done. That's a There's the light cable, so can you see? Goes up there, tucks under, over it, and then there we go. And it will go into the board. Just making sure these are all seated and they all look to be alright. As you see, once that top cover clamps up, that's not going to affect if I break it. Right. Now we're there. Right. That brain wire goes definitely down there. That one there. So that one there. Right. Now we're on this board. Yeah. 
jet pipe switch and that's this light. So I'm just going to connect that in. There we go. switch to do but we'll do that after because those wires have got to be seated this should just pushes on So, but I'm not going to be selling this nozzle. This is just video purposes. Yeah, I would advise getting new ones of these little blocks. I think Amazon they do them. I bought hundreds for not a lot of money. But if you're only using, if you're only doing your own nozzle, you're not going to want hundreds, so you may have to just uh, either use your existing ones or. Find a slightly different way to connect them. I mean, they've got that little. You could no longer put three block. One of those uh, electrical blocks. You could nearly do that down there in that space. So you don't. There should be enough room. in there fine, that's good. As I said, I'm not selling this power nozzle. So it's more of a demonstration than an exact if I was doing this this how I would put the new blocks on. Right, that's that. And then these go into this little white join I've got. Protective.
Before I do that part switch, I just need to get these wires tucked in. Said if you'd seen the uh, one where I took this apart, I did do a, a little bit of a close up video so you can see exactly how these wires um, are laid out. So if you're not quite 100% sure, you can go back, look at that video, pause it, and have a proper, a proper look. switch on it's got a little bit of a notch there we go that's in place screwed up was in place and this one's a T20 that was the only screw holding the middle of it down the rest is all by the top cover don't worry just got to make sure that everything's out of the way So you know that's going to be crimped up, that will not move, that will not flicker or anything. That's fine. Right, last stages. All these are exactly the same length, so this is not a short ball one. And they're all the T20 torch balls. As I'm putting them back through, I'm randomly going side to side. One, uh, instead of doing both bows, both bows do randomly, and uh, it stops anything going out of line or, or something. Makes it difficult to remember where you put the screws, but. Pretty straightforward. My 
much easier to put back on than uh, get off. They're quite strong. If you got this far, which I don't think many people do, they see what they need to see and that's it. But if you have, thanks for watching. Hopefully it helps. And uh, if you can, please subscribe. Um, as I said, I don't care. this is time that you know I won't ever get back. So. need subscribers but yeah that's in the world. Thanks for watching, hopefully it helps.